to Islam. We've been managing it. It's also not well. So could you wait? Go ahead. Both of them are not well. So it's been used by the Yes, we manage it. It happens at the highest level of football. Yeah, it happens everywhere. Yeah, you manage players uh, to be able to put them there and get you the points. Even if they can't score, they attract opponents towards them. Right. So both of them are not well. But we are managing them to do it. Okay, last question. Coach, my name is Jonas. Um, the setup of your team. Mm-hmm. I want Ghana versus Nigeria second leg, especially in the second half when they were able to make those substitutions. Tinka, number two, number three, were deployed to the wings. We saw the same setup. Even though that Tinka were left there, we decided to go in for, um, for example, a certain point team that it was made as who was rotating from that one side. Later on, we came to Asma. But on the other side, it was also the same thing we did. Was it because we wanted to keep Fraser King, especially the first leg in the week, where we scored when we have moved to the wings, that we have moved to the One, that, that's, that's also part of it, yeah. And, and it happens. Uh, sometimes you play double two, let me use common language so that everybody understands. You play double two or double three. So what happens is that um, you, once the, the player is a threat on the wing, it means that he has to face two natural defenders there to be able to get the space behind the defense. And that was exactly what we did. And if you see, if you remember, when Asma came in, they, they, wasn't, they weren't a threat again on that side. So the threat now came to where uh, Neti was. But we didn't want to sacrifice Boot. That was why we still kept Boot in, because keeping Boot in there meant that the, and in Bella there meant that we have three or four Kinfisa players staying behind. So when you have three or four of them staying behind, it means we have plus one. We have more than them in the middle of the park or where the ball is. And the likelihood of winning the ball will be very high. And that was exactly what happened. Um, we are going to wrap up. Your question will come. Yeah, thank you, Coach. Looking at your performance today, do you think your players are the ready for the African match in Fiji and the Fiji in the crowd? Do you think your players are set and ready for that match? Yeah. Because you've not been seen among Konami. You've not been seen in the team of one. We are now operating with more central midfielders. I would like to say a proper two diamond system or whatever it is. You've not been seeing your true wingers, um, the Sinapua Quiet among people. What does that mean to him on these two players? Yeah, it's all about injuries. Afua Pa also got in there. We all saw it here. Uh, when we went to 11 Wonders, uh, he was injured. Is now uh, coming back. Um, uh, Amankuna. Yeah, Amankuna is also trying to get to the level that I expect him to play. If you don't play at the level that you expect, you, you all expect him to play, you don't play. And that is it. This is Kumasi Asante Koteko. And this is a team that we compare to the likes of El Ali, Zamalek, Esperance. Uh, they, they are playing the Champions League. Look at the quality of the players there. So, uh, if you don't get to that level, that is it. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you very much, David. We'll see you next week.